It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. Guys, I think the first question on this test is wrong. Well, I'm looking at this and it says, which of the following is not true? So a lot of these just have to do with definitions. And I think there may actually be two answers. They say the answer is B. So let's go ahead and look through these. A rectangle is a parallelogram. That is true because a rectangle has opposite sides that are parallel, which is the definition of a parallelogram. So that works out. This one says a rhombus is a square. Well, a rhombus has four equal sides, but it doesn't necessarily come together at 90 degree angles. So a rhombus is not always square meaning this is not true. That is definitely a answer here or an answer. A square is a rectangle. Well, a square does have the opposite sides that are equal. It does have the 90 degree angles. This is actually true as well. So great. But this last one, a rectangle is a rhombus. Well, a rectangle has opposite sides that are equal, but a rhombus is supposed to have all four sides that are equal. So this actually is not true. So that means D could be an answer as well. Ugh. This test is 0 for 2 for these geometry not true questions. Let's look at this. It says quadrilateral is a rectangle if and only if all angles are congruent. That's actually true because in a rectangle, they're all 90 degrees. And if they're all 90 degrees, it would make it a rectangle. So that's the only way that would work. A square is a regular quadrilateral. That's true as well because regular means that all the sides and angles are the same. And then a square it is. A square is a rhombus with unequal diagonals. That's actually false because the square, those diagonals are the same. So that definitely is an answer here. See, last one, a rhombus is an equal angular parallelogram. Well, actually, two of the angles will be uh, the same in a rhombus, like this guy and this guy, but that guy and that guy will not be the same as the other two. So that's actually not true either, unless they're just talking about across from each other. So C and D? For number three, it tells us that AB is parallel to DE. So these two lines are parallel. And then it asks us to find this after giving us that this guy is 65 and this guy is 33. Now, pictures can sometimes be deceiving, but looking at this, is this a straight line? It doesn't look like it. If it were a straight line, it would be 180, but it looks like it's actually going to be a little bit less than that. But let's actually look here. If it were a straight line, then by a transversal, this angle should be the same as this angle. But they already told us that this angle was 65 and this angle was 33. Now, at the same time, this can't be a straight 90 degree angle because that would mess up a bunch of other things. So that means it must be bigger than 90, but less than 180. So our only answer here is A, 140. Two points, negative 4.6 and positive 4.8 are on a number line. What's the distance to the nearest tenth between the two points? Well, we have to go from 4.8 to 0 and then the negative 4.6. So essentially, we're adding these two numbers together here without the negative. So in this case, I'm looking at 4.8 plus 4.6. Well, 6 plus 8 is going to give me 14, carry the 1. And we're going to have 4 plus 4, which is 8, and then that 9. So we're looking at 9.4, which is answer C. Two lines are said to be blank if they do not intersect. This is the definition of parallel. Two lines that do not intersect with each other. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB. So make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.